Now we'll design the clasps. I'm going to select the pencil tool and I'm going to design an acres clasp on the smaller right here. I'm going to rotate the model so the buckle is facing me and I'm going to draw a line which is going to represent the center line of the clasp. I'll end it in the undercut, that's where the tip of the clasp is going to be and I'll select the clasp tool and click on the line. Now we have a three-dimensional preview. As you can see, all the points are still visible. So if I'm not happy with the shape of the clasp, I can always move the points around to change the shape of the clasp. If I wanted to make it longer, I can move the, the end of the clasp towards the distal of the molar. If I wanted to make it shorter, I'll move it towards the mesial. What we also have is different profiles for the clasps. You can Right now I've got four different profiles in my library. You can have as many as you want. Uh, you could name them anything you want. So if you have a particular clasp that a certain doctor likes or a certain group of doctors like, you could name them after the doctors and preset the settings for that particular clasp according to your doctor's preferences. All of these settings can be preset ahead of time so you don't have to change them from case to case but if you did need to change them on any particular case, the settings are right here, so you do have that option of modifying the thickness, the width, uh, taper ends, um, anything you want. Once you're happy with the way the clasp looks, we'll click the Apply button, which will turn it from the three-dimensional preview to uh, digital wax. I'll select the pencil tool again and I'll draw another line on the lingual of the molar. I'll select the clasp tool and click on the line. I'm going to take the tip of this clasp and move it a little me more mesial, make it a little shorter. Click apply and add the clasp to digital wax. Now what else I'd like to do, this guide plane right here on the molar, I'd like to make it a little bit thicker so it's nice and even uh, with the clasps that, with the acres clasp that I have on the smaller. So I'm going to select a tool, it's called a smudge tool. Now this tool works in two ways. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. When I'm working on top of the model or on the outside of the wax, I can remove wax like I'm doing right now. If I pop through to the inside of this wax, I can add wax on top. So. As you can see, I'm adding wax with the smudge tool. I can actually feel the resistance from the wax as I'm adding it on. Um, this, this really does feel like I'm, I'm, I have a wax instrument in my hand and I'm waxing onto this partial. Select the smooth tool and just blend everything in. And there's our acres clasp.